All right. Can, do you think we can trust the minority MPs? One, say a banal corruption. Now that one of them, a senior member of parliament, saying, say, Omoje bribes. Can we trust the minority when it comes to corruption, the fight against corruption? Number two, Minority, let's say, one person will reduce the number of ministers because I share executive expenditure and a cost rule. Can we trust them? Well, when it comes to fighting corruption, until I see certain things, I'm sure I, I can't trust both parties, by the way. I mean, I think uh, the issues around procurement, the Antimia has resolved those things properly. The issues around the the way we 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 we, 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 we decide on projects and all of that. If those things don't change, no matter who comes to power, corruption will still continue. So it's, it's not a question about trusting the minority or the majority at all. It's about certain things that ought to change. The way we procure, the way we uh, recite projects, the way we come up with projects and all of those must change. You see, that should be the first point of order. I mean, the first line of uh, argument. Because the second point of this one is, um, would they ever be committed to this whole concept of using the size of government? And the one year, um, I think because it's become a topical issue, so, uh, I mean, in the, in the likely event that uh, Mahama wins power, so I know so I say he can, can develop, was he can rule this country with about 60 or so ministers. So we hold him to account. I know the, it will be a much higher uh, accountability requirement than just merely saying so. And once the, the, the flag bearer has said it, the party hierarchy is also saying, and it presupposes that uh, that should be something that can be easily done. Because I know one, yeah, I mean, you yourself have yourself to blame it. It's not like a project where you say you do the castle, you do the airport at the coast, and then you come into power and realize that if it was a silly decision and that there's an airport around that practice, so it doesn't make sense. Well, you can be forgiven when you say something like that, but not necessarily when you make a definite statement that you can uh, manage the country system in its best of life. I know the BBR, the BNMO, the Uber, yes, I promise, and that's a one. I'm sure you yourself hear what the Ghanaians would have. Mm -hmm.